Hi, Tom here and welcome to this week's Circle and Art School video, How to Draw the Mercedes-Benz Atlanta Stadium, the venue for Super Bowl 53. I will show you each simple step in this complex drawing. For this drawing I'm going to use a black pen for the main drawing and a grey marker pen for the shadows at the end. You could use a pencil for the whole drawing and any soft dark pencil would be fine. This drawing starts with some basic two point perspective. So first we need to draw a horizontal line across the page. On the line we can draw two vanishing points as we are using two point perspective. One on the far right and the second vanishing point on the far left. In this drawing all parallel lines will look like they meet at one of our two vanishing points on the horizon. From our first vanishing point we can draw two lines going towards the left of the paper. Now we can draw two lines from the left vanishing point going to the right. You could use a ruler in this drawing, but these are just guidelines so they don't need to be perfect. They're just guidelines for the playing field. We can divide the edge of the long line of the playing field into parts and these parts can get closer together as they go away from us but towards the vanishing point so they recede as they go towards the vanishing point by getting closer together. Once we have marked these spaces we can now use the left vanishing point to draw a series of lines from the marks that we have just made all going towards the left vanishing point in this way we're drawing the yard lines of the playing field. So because the rectangle's in perspective, in two point perspective, it looks distorted because rectangles are only look rectangular if you're looking straight down at them. If you're looking at them at an angle, they are going to be distorted. They're going to look distorted. And perspective is one of the ways to find out how a rectangle will look when we're looking at it from a different angle, not just looking down at it. So often in perspective, you do not have to draw all of the lines all of the way towards the vanishing point. As long as they're going towards the vanishing point, they should look fine. But you don't need to necessarily draw them all the way there. But if you're unsure, you can just imagine the line continuing all the way to the vanishing point or literally draw the line all the way to the vanishing point. Once we have that in place, we can start to draw the guidelines for the roof. First, use the left vanishing point to draw two lines going to the right, both above the horizon. We can draw two more lines from the right vanishing point. Now all lines above the horizon, all these lines we are looking up at, and all of the lines below the horizon we are looking down at. So the horizon, in other words, represents the height of the eye of the viewer. Next, within this rectangular shape, we need to draw a circle by drawing it within the rectangle that we've just drawn and the rectangles in perspective. So this circle is going to be an ellipse because it's a circle in perspective, a circle seen from an angle. We can add a second curved line inside this circle to give it a thickness. To make the shape more prominent, I'll just thicken the lines that we've just drawn. Now we can draw some more triangles that are visible within this hole in the ceiling of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Just draw some triangular dart-like shapes. Each one is sort of leaning on the next. Now these shapes sort of open and close like an aperture. Directly below this circle we can draw an image on the depth of the circle which is an enormous video board within the ring. For this drawing I'll draw the famous Mercedes-Benz logo on the left and another one on the right and indicate a few lines that represent the front of a car. The Mercedes-Benz logo is just a three-pointed star in a circle and each of the points are sort of slightly triangular. 
Once I have drawn the basic lines for the logo of the Mercedes-Benz and parts of the front of the car, I can add some details to these triangles which are part of the retractable roof in the, that the stadium has. The roof has, in fact, I think, eight of these retractable panels and the whole was, I would imagine, influenced by the Pantheon building in Rome, which is a building with a dome with a circular hole in the top of it. Although in the drawing I tried to make the panels look very light, they must in reality be extremely heavy and I think they move on rails. The details don't have to be precise, we just need to get the flavour of the building. Below the hole in the roof, we can draw the Atlanta Falcons logo, a falcon crest in the shape of the letter F. But for this drawing, we can just draw any sort of dark shape mark on the field will be fine, because it's so far away, these details that we're drawing are so far away that we can just estimate them. Now we can darken some of the areas in the video board the interior of the Mercedes-Benz sign and other parts to make it look sort of shiny and dramatic. To make it look dramatic we just need to have areas going from dark to light quite quickly. So the next step is to start to draw some of the stands of the blocks of seats that surround the field in the centre. Now all these stands are at various angles and their rate seating and the top and bottom lines, the horizontal top and bottom lines of all of these stands will link to the vanishing points. But the vertical angles, we can just make up these vertical angles so it sort of looks right. If it looks right, it sort of is right.
So now that we have the stands in place, we can draw some of the structure of the roof. Basically a series of straight lines that use the two vanishing points when the parallel lines are going away from us. Again, we can just give an impression of the complexity of the roof. We can just make it up a bit. As long as it's sharp and detailed, I'm sure it'll look fine. Because we're probably going to add, we'll add some tone, some shading to this area later on. So it's not an area to do too much loose drawing, but accurate, confident lines in the wrong place will still look fine. So to add tone, we can just darken the negative shapes in the roof, the shapes between the lines that we have drawn. Now we need to draw 70,000 people or more. But luckily, they're so far away from us that they're really just little dots and marks. But this still takes a while to do. But it's worth doing well because if we do lots and lots of little dots, they will build up to look like a big crowd of people. Whereas if you just get tired of doing little dots and do other marks and more sort of scribble, it won't have the effect of making the stadium, which is a massive building, it won't look large if all the people seem large. So if the people are really, really tiny dots, then it makes the drawing and the stadium seem much, much larger. The last step in this drawing of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium is to draw a circle using a grey marker pen, or if you haven't got a grey marker pen, just a soft pencil, which you can create a flat tone with, would be absolutely fine. And then we can shade everything outside the circle that we've drawn. In this way, we're sort of creating a circular pool of light coming from the hole in the roof through the stadium onto the field and crowd below. I hope you enjoy this drawing challenge. If you'd like to learn more about drawing, please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com. I post a new drawing every week. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, to keep up to date. Thank you for watching and see you next time.